For the last 60 years, Asset School has provided learning that transforms lives and continues to play a vital role in our educational community. I think Assets has filled a unique role in education in Hawaii. You look at the kids that they've serviced, where they, what they've accomplished and where they've gone. Uh, it's been a very unique experience to be involved with Assets. I think Assets has established a clear reputation for a school that really puts kids first. And we see the differences that they might have as being gifts and opportunities. And as a result, the, the kids that come through Assets learn about themselves and who they are as a learner, and it just builds their resilience so that when they leave, they're ready for whatever may come. If there wasn't a school like Assets School, the state of Hawaii would have a real problem. If we were to look at it from a financial standpoint, uh, the state of Hawaii would probably be, pay, be paying double or triple the amount to educate each one of the children that we do for, for uh, a fraction. A lot of schools talk about serving the whole child. I believe we really do that. For us, it's more than just the academic or intellectual advancement of the child, but it's helping a child understand who he or she is as a learner, to fully embrace their strengths and their interests and to be able to speak with acceptance about what their challenges are and then what, what they need to be successful anyway. A third of our students going through public schools are not graduating. It's like condemning them to a life of misery. But Assets is one that everybody knows about in the independent school community and in lots of the public school communities as a place where students who do not fit the one-size-fits-all mold out there can be seen, can be heard, can be appreciated, understood, embraced, challenged, and supported. Assets fulfills its mission and serves children who need it most because of a strong and dedicated board. Many of our board members are also parents of Assets students and alums. These committed volunteers know firsthand the impact of an Assets education. I don't think we would be here sane if it wasn't for Assets School because our two boys came to Assets and it really tremendously helped them. Both of them had learning differences and Assets really settled them down. I know our oldest came in kindergarten and at that time he couldn't even recognize the alphabet. But yet Luce also was the uh, headmaster at the time and Sandy Tadaki and they said, you know, this kid is actually really, really smart. He just learns differently than other kids. And so they were able to tailor um, the teaching to our particular son's needs. And you know, by the end of one year, that one year in kindergarten, he was actually reading at a second grade level. And that's when I became a convert. I mean, it was almost like magic and a miracle had happened. It doesn't just teach you learning, but it really teaches you about yourself and how you can be successful as an individual. We're big believers in the tagline, you know, yes. learning that transforms lives, because it's not just the lives of the children, but it really changed our sure. lives. So handling uh, triplets in itself is, uh, was not easy, and it was a great, uh, great thing, and it still is. But, um, but once they started going through these um, Getting over those hurdles, me able to come to a place like Assets and really be nurtured and welcomed, and to be able to learn uh, and to to grow, uh, then it just changed our whole family you know, dynamic. And she is loving it, and I know the children love her. And from what we hear from, of course, all the rest of you and everybody else in the school, uh, and, and parents of children that she's been teaching now in her third year. Uh, they all really have positive things to say, so it makes us feel great. Tonight, we honor and celebrate an important figure in Assets history, a special man whose generosity of heart and spirit touched so many lives during his tenure at our school. Not only a brilliant educator and a fierce advocate for students with learning differences, but a man whose kindness and compassion 
leaves a lasting impression. Lou, I love you. I can't wait to see you at the event. And um, your years, your 10 years at Assets were wonderful. They just flew by. Um, and we have nothing but great memories of parties and uh, just wonderful events, wonderful times. Um, my mother always remembers you fondly and misses seeing you. And uh, we just miss you. We miss um, uh, your great smile and your happiness. Um, we hope that you're doing well in Ohio and uh, wish you'd come back to Hawaii more often and visit. Anyway, congratulations and um, can't wait to spend more time with you. Lou who? <laughs> Lou Salva. Lou? <laughs> Lou. Lou. Oh, Lou! A message for Lou? I am just very pleased that Lou has been able to go through life without his beret and his bow tie. Lou, we can't thank you enough for everything you did for our kids. My gosh, I don't think we would be here as sane as we are if it weren't for you and Asset School. Thank you. Lou Salza knows that I love him. Um, he was probably the most influential person on my career that I've ever had. And not only was he influential in that way, but as a really seriously good friend. So it was a true partnership when we worked together and one that I treasure forever. And he changed my life in many ways and he changed assets. I think back to 20 years ago when Fran Hollenquist told me, gave me advice when I was talking to her about trouble with you know, our schools and our, and, and, our, and our boys. And she told me, go talk to Mr. Lou. Go to Asset School, go talk to Mr. Lou and he will take care of you. And you know, he really did. And for that, I'll, I'll always be grateful to him. Thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for this community, for our, for us, us, he's one of us. Um, and, um, and thank you for getting me involved with the board. He's the one that got me on this board, so thanks for that. Um, anyway, keep, keep doing what you do. That's all I have to say to him. He's a wonderful person. There are people called charismatic adults. And these are people who believe in you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no matter what. And he is my charismatic adult. He nurtured me. He mentored me. He helped me to grow in ways that I never thought possible. And <laughs> so much of who I am today is because of him. And I love him terribly. <laughs> and I'm so glad that we're honoring him because he deserves it so much.